There's only so much room in the Sacramento Police Department's property division, so what do you do with the weapons and the narcotics collected by the officers? Well, as a matter of routine, anything which no longer needs to be held as evidence is eventually gathered up and destroyed. It's very secret. Um, we send undisclosed number of armed officers undercover with the items to be destroyed. We, we rotate dates, times of dates, and it's not a consistent cycle. We wait till we get enough in volume to make sense financially. Sacramento Chief of Police Rick Brazil has a special team which handles these missions, and this time the team was led by Acting Sergeant Michael Height. The reason the police department destroys the guns, we don't want to sell them. Um, like some other agencies do because we don't want it on our on our hands if that gun is used down the road in a crime against one of our officers, against a citizen. And you can understand that concern just by stepping into the back of the unmarked transport truck to look at some of the weapons with Sergeant Norm Leon. Yeah, several long rifles, some swords. Is that some a machete that I see there? Looks kind of like a Friday 13th uh, hatchet. Wow. And uh, some billy clubs. And Sergeant Height also pointed out some of the stash included heavy artillery. Mini submachine gun. Normally you'd see it. It's got the um, barrel with the screw at the end that normally you'd add the silencer to it. Right. Those are the kind of guns that are out on our streets. And do it yourself weapons. See, so look at it. Yeah, it's a homemade gun. So what you're looking at is uh, just a yellow it's like screw, plumbing. Yeah, like plumbing a plumbing, uh, with almost plumber's uh, tape wrapped to something that was made into a handle. As you can imagine, it took some time to load all of these weapons for the trip. 249 handguns and 148 long guns that will be destroyed. And then there was some 600 pounds of illegal narcotic, including pot, cocaine, and crystal meth, some of which had to be tested by the team. Yep, that's positive for uh, meth. meth. That to ensure that nobody had tampered with the packages. Positive for meth. Yep. But once the inventory was completed and the truck was fully loaded, it was locked down to await the next day's journey. Which began not long after the sun came up with a briefing for the plainclothes officers who would provide an armed escort. I hate to say it, but the number one threat on this whole thing would be if one of the workers told somebody, because they know we're coming. And when we were there last time, I mean, it's a dump. It's an actual landfill. A lot of the workers could be parolees for all we know. We saw guys with tattoos on their necks and look like parolees, so you never know. Sergeant Height uh, clearly conscious there. of security. In fact, several of the escort Nobody officers were carrying military-style rifles. Ready? The officers filed into their vehicles just as the truck rolled out of its secure garage. The signal was given. Copy, you all, you are good to go. And the police caravan was on its way to a facility located outside of Sacramento County, exactly where we are not allowed to tell you. Sergeant Height explained why. This is stuff that people want. It's guns and drugs, and there's plenty of people that would love to know what we're transporting. And keeping their cargo from falling into the wrong hands is a job this team obviously took very seriously. Fortunately, we can also report this drug and gun burn went off without a hitch. From somewhere in Northern California, Tim Lance, KFBK.